Hey everyone. On the 22nd of December, I was in a really bad accident where I got out on the highway to help another car and then a car hit that car and thus hitting me and pinning me to a wall. I'm okay, I'm alive, so if I haven't been responsive, please don't worry. Andrew's gonna fill you in on the rest of what happened, uh, but just know that I'm okay. Uh, please do not message me on my Instagram or email me or anything like that because I just need time to heal and relax and please be patient with me. Um, Andrew's gonna give you an outlet where you can send me messages, so just stay tuned for that. All right, so you heard it from Richard, um, but I got to spend a few hours with him yesterday and I'm going to explain a little bit more about what happened and what you guys can do to help. So some of you guys might have already listened to our weekly podcast that came out today wondering what the heck, how did this happen? Um, but that podcast was actually recorded last week before any of this went down. And looking back on some of our conversations, some of it is actually pretty eerie, especially the parts where Richard was talking about how like the winter season is typically the roughest time in his life and how he finally felt like this winter was like the best one he's had in a long time. So it's just really unfortunate timing. It's super weird, but we'll definitely be going to that in more detail in the future on the podcast. But first, let's back up a second. So what the heck happened? So on Sunday night around midnight, Richard and his girlfriend Jalila were driving home from spending time with his family and a car in front of them in the left lane hit a puddle, lost control, and swerved all the way over to the right side of the highway and actually hit the side wall. And that car collided with the wall at full speed, so Richard pulled over on the shoulder of the highway to go check on them and make sure they were okay since it was like such a dangerous place on the highway and the accident looked so bad. And Jalila stayed in the car and Richard got on his crutch and crutched over to the accident to make sure the driver was okay and to offer help and make sure everything was, you know, make sure people were alive and all that. And as he was talking to the driver and trying to help them, another car from the left lane hit the exact same puddle and basically did the exact same thing, slid out of control, swerved across all four lanes and hit that original car, slamming Richard between the sidewall, and the original car. And Jalila saw the whole thing go down from the safety of their car, and she, like, couldn't believe her eyes. I mean, obviously, it's extremely shocking. Um, but she just saw him get hit, and then he just, like, disappeared behind the original car. And she she honestly thought he had just died immediately. And um, Richard totally, like, blacked out for this part, but luckily he was alive and responsive after the accident but he sustained a compound fracture to his left tibia and a liver laceration with some internal bleeding, and his right wrist is in a lot of pain, and he's got all kinds of cuts and scrapes and bruises all over his body, and thankfully, um, he wasn't in his wheelchair, so his wheelchair is fine, his car wasn't damaged, but his his crutch was like completely destroyed, but... Um, that's the least of his worries. Um, his liver should be able to completely heal on its own. They said it was going to heal pretty quickly, um, but he did have to have surgery on Monday to repair his tibia where they inserted a long metal rod like through his leg, through his knee, and they basically just hammered the big old rod like right into his leg. It was extremely painful. And the biggest concern is that since it was a compound fracture, meaning that the bone was sticking out of his leg, um, out of the skin, the risk of infection is much, much greater. And of course, like any kind of infection for someone with a spinal cord injury, injury especially, can be very dangerous because infection is one of the leading causes of death for people with spinal cord injury. So we're keeping a very, very close eye on that. Um, but the first few days of pain were just like excruciating for him and the hospital he was in, you know, that he's in is just not very good. And I'm sure that we'll get into some of the horror stories on the podcast, but it was pretty rough. And um, I was able to visit him yesterday for a few hours and he said his pain was pretty managed. It was about like a six out of 10 at that point, whereas before it was like off the charts. But um, right now we're not really sure if or when he'll be able to walk again, how long lasting the effects will be, um, if he's going to be able to push his wheelchair with his right wrist because it's in so much pain. But there's not really much speculating. You know, there's no point in speculating right now. We're just going to have to see how everything heals up. But um, Richard is, you know, the strongest person that I know. And compared to his spinal cord injury 10 years ago, this is just like a speed bump in the road, you know. And if anyone's going to be able to overcome this, it's definitely Richard. And the last thing he wants from this is sympathy. Anytime people post pictures or videos from the hospital, it causes like a huge reaction. Everyone wants to visit and send messages and all kinds of stuff. But 
we were pretty hesitant to put this video out because we knew what the reaction would be, but we felt like we needed to share with you guys what's going on because Richard's had such a big impact on a lot of you, and we felt like it was only fair to share this with you. And of course, Richard's going to be recovering for the next few months, so don't expect any extreme sports videos anytime soon, any snowboarding videos or WCMX or anything like that. We still have a lot more um, you know, recovering to do, but we have a lot more impact to make with Wheels to Walking and I mean, let's be honest, like Richard could have easily died in this situation. And unfortunately, a lot of us never get to share how much people actually mean to us while they're still alive. You know, people talk about how artists are never really like fully appreciated until they die. And, um, you know, I know off the top of my head, quite a few people who've avoided, you know, suicide, drug addiction, and people who've become more confident and accepting of their life using a wheelchair because of Richard. And, you know, so instead of sending him a text or a DM or commenting on this video, since we're probably going to take this video down in a couple weeks, we've actually set up a page on wheels to walking.com where you can leave Richard a message and his inboxes are already being flooded. And he really just wants to be able to like fully appreciate and read them instead of like trying to sift through what like actually important right now versus, you know, what's just like a message from you guys. So right now, um, you can go to wheels to walking.com slash message and you can leave Richard a note. And I would really encourage you to think about how Richard's impacted your life and tell him what he actually like really means to you. You know, this is your time to show your appreciation for Richard and what he's done and to give him that motivation to keep making awesome videos for you guys. And we already have some amazing videos lined up once Richard gets released, you know, about how bad his hospital experience was, how he had to fight to advocate for himself in the hospital and what you should and shouldn't do in situations like that. But if you really want to stay up to date with everything, you should definitely go follow the Wheels to Walking podcast because we're going to cover everything and get much more into detail about what exactly is going on. Again, um, the podcast we released today was recorded before the accident, but we're going to try to do um, a special edition, you know, uh, about about the hospital kind of stuff. So make sure to subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss out on that. But anyways, go to wheelstowalking.com slash message. It will be linked down below so you can leave your message for Richard. And again, please respect his privacy. He's not really accepting visitors right now. Please don't send messages directly to his email or text him or message him on Instagram. Just go to the website and leave your message there. We'll definitely get read um, and it will be very appreciated. So thanks again to everyone. I hope you all are having a better holiday season than Richard <laughs> than Richard and I, but um, please go leave him a message. It will really mean a lot to him. And thanks for listening. Um, and we will see you guys very, very soon.